Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I'm back for part three of my Friday morning beach walk on Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples, Florida. And the rain has started up once again, a light little drizzle in the air. Temperature's actually dropped. It's down to 64, 65 degrees right now. It's almost 9 o'clock. I got waylaid in between my two live feeds here. I did a little live feed on YouTube. I ran into Mike. I was talking to our friend Mike. Yeah, it's raining a little harder than it was earlier this morning, darn it. Rain's a little chilly, a little on the chilly side. So we're just south of the, the La Playa. Hit that share button. Last couple of days, it's been really quiet on Facebook. Uh, I wipe off the phone, the phone and the gimbal. Hang on, I don't want to wreck my gimbal. Sometimes when I'm walking out here in the rain, a little one little drop of rain will get in the microphone and that's the end of the audio. So if the audio sounds weird or you don't hear anything, that's what happened. Chris, good morning. TGIF, my friend, happy Friday. So earlier we did see some good progress on the grading, on the reconstruction of our beach. We saw the crew from Earth Tech, I believe, is the name of the company that does most of the beach re nourishment and beach cleanup. They were uh, they had their little machine out there. They're filling in along the seawalls now. Those big gaps that are in front of the seawalls. So they're definitely making progress here on Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples. The next big mess they got is up here at the La Playa. But down by the Turtle Club, they got the beach all graded out. Down by the Turtle Club, you can actually walk down the steps and go to the beach. I think they gotta put some handrails on the steps before they open that up. All these piles of sand here, that's to fill in along the seawall at La Playa, but they put a fence up between the beach and the hotel, between the, you know, the water line and the seawall so they can't fill it in. I have no clue why they did that. I was talking to the dozer operator this morning. He don't know why they did it either. It's like, we got all the sand here ready to go and they put an armed fence up. This is uh, county taxpayer money paying for all this. Keep that in mind. This is your tax dollars in Collier County cleaning this beach. And technically, we're not allowed to walk on that beach. We can pay for it, but we can't use it. So keep that in mind when you're voting for your commissioners and everything like that. Friggin' nonsense. Pay for it, but you can't use it. Actually, all the beach from about where I'm standing right here 
to the left of me is private beach. You're not supposed to walk on it, set your beach chairs up on it. The mean high tide line. Hmm. Still drizzling. Still raining out here. It's been raining on and off all morning. It's raining kind of hard up there. I might need to slow down a little bit. Got to keep wiping the gimbal off. Sorry, my phone and the gimbal. Don't want any water getting in there. There's the old La Playa, not open yet. Gloomy morning. Since we saw them grading the beach down by the Turtle Club, the bulldozer moved up to the north here. He's up here ahead of me somewhere. Ooh, nice. Hot cup of coffee is sounding good right about now as the water drops fall off the brim of my hat. <laughs> hey, remember who's out in the rain walking the beach for you guys? Show some appreciation there. If you like what I do, you can send some stars on Facebook. I get a penny a star. Stars have been very, very lacking lately. I have not reached 10% of my December goal yet in stars, so not looking very good. We'll see what happens. It's all up to you guys if whether or not I can come out here. I love it though. I love hanging at the beach with my beach family. You're awesome. There's some of you that are just so faithful. Faithful, faithful in your support and your viewership. God bless you. Come on, rain, let up. Let up. Water temperature is 75 degrees. If you're curious, there's no red tide. And yes, the beach is open. See, this is the beach that I'm walking on. It's open. Need to help spread the word here. A lot of misinformation. People, oh, the beach is open. I didn't know the beach is open. Well, the beaches in Collier County are open with the exception of just a couple. 
but from Vanderbilt Beach, all of Vanderbilt Beach, and south down to Mark Island, the beach is open. You can go out, walk on the beach, do your own research about the water quality, make your own judgment call on that one. But if you want to take a walk on the beach, the beach is open. Parking might be an issue in a few places, find an access, so drive around, you find a place to park. Just make sure you're parking in a legal parking spot. There's a concrete block that washed up on the beach the past couple of days. Or, oh, I'm sorry, it's a crab trap. It washed up. Or is it a milk crate? Might be an old milk crate, but there's there still is crap out in the water. Still is crap out there washing up. I did see a couple concrete blocks washing up here yesterday. Somebody threw them up higher onto the beach, get them out of the water. There is junk out in the water, that is a fact. Obviously, Fort Myers to the north of us. A lot of cleanup work going on up there, Fort Myers Beach and San Abel Island. Matt Lachey. The temperature's definitely feeling like it's dropping. It's supposed to only have a high of 72. It started out at 66 when I first came out to the beach this morning. And just now before I went live, it said 64. So it's going the wrong way right now. The temperature's going down instead of up. What's with that? It's rain cooling things down, probably. If you're wondering, how things are going here as far as the cleanup process after Hurricane Ian. If you're curious as to what things look like on Gulf Shore Drive over on the other side of these homes and condos. A couple days ago, I did a walk all the way up Gulf Shore. You can check that video out. Just scroll down several days worth of videos here and you'll see it. Parts one and two of my walk on Gulf Shore Drive. You can see the process it's looking better and better still a lot of work to do There's a dozer up ahead of us. Uh, being wet and that little breeze definitely makes a difference. <laughs> a little chilly.
So he's taking a little break with the machine here. Pretty far up the beach here. Probably another day or so. I think there's going to be a lot of people sitting out at the beach up there at Bluebell, <laughs> the north end of Vanderbilt. Whoa, is that blue sky? I see a little slice of blue up there. I see a little slice of blue sky. What do you know? What do you know? Imagine it. I pan around and there's the rain. <laughs> you know what? We need the rain. It's been dry here. We could use the rain. Wintertime, rain is our friend here. Summertime, we sometimes we get a little too much. Pushing some sand up in here, it'll be some big hole over here that needs to be filled. Nope, not bad along here. A big trench. It is low along in here and I'll be pushing that sand into here raising the beach oh, these poor buildings every time I see them oh, I don't know what they're going to do with these places super low in here. Nothing left to these bottom units here. Nothing left to them. Again, before the storm surge and Hurricane Ian, that, you didn't even see that seawall. Not even see that seawall there.
getting brighter down to the south. Getting brighter. Holy guacamole. I just saw one of those little ducks bobbing up and down on the waves here. So you see a little black dot maybe pop up there. Ah, it's way over there now. Ha! One of those little ducks just going up and down on the waves, going under. I thought it was going to be way too rough for them out here. Only one of them. I was seeing things. Is working on their sun van this morning up here. The beach looks pretty quiet. A few walkers.
some more wagons up there ahead of us. Looking forward to the day we can hit that beach again. Maybe sooner than later, who knows? Keep our fingers crossed. We know that park's gonna be closed for a while though. Barbara Grove, the shell lady. She's going to be coming down here soon and she doesn't have a beach to sit on with her shells. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to tell her. The only thing I could think of is maybe she could go to one of our other state parks that's open and set up there and give her give shell talks to passers-by. not the beach, but people still like seeing and touching and learning about seashells. She's got a pretty nice collection of shells, too. Getting brighter, getting brighter finally out here. I actually can see the sun through the clouds. 